Imagine this. Let's say you are an automated trader and you want to find the best symbol and time frame to run your robots on. Well, this is probably a very tedious process and requires a lot of testing because, you know, how do we know what time frame or symbol is the best one to choose? We have to test all the different combinations. The problem with extensive testing is that it is very, very tedious and time consuming. And this is why most traders dread testing. Just imagine you want to test on 19 different symbols, let's say, on three time frames and six different settings. Well, how many test cases are these? Well, if you add them all up or multiply them all together, you arrive at 342 test cases. Now imagine running all these manually. For sure, you will not do it. It just takes too long. Well, we now have a solution for this. Why not automate all these test cases? And this is exactly what we had in mind for the portfolio tester. What this tool allows you to do is to automate your test cases across multiple strategies, symbols, and timeframes. You can simply click together your test cases. Then you simply click run. And it will run all these different test cases in the background. No need for you to stay in front of the monitor. Some of the more advanced features of the portfolio tester is, for example, the seamless integration with Portfolio Architect. And how this works, I will show you in one second. You can export your test results to CSV. You can customize your symbols. You can add new symbols to the tool, and you can customize the spreads being used for it. If you work with Tick Data Suite, which is an add-on for MetaTrader 4, you can also use this Tick Data Suite with Portfolio Tester. And if you use MT4, or MT5 in portal mode, also these two modes are supported by Portfolio Tester. Enough theory, let's switch over to the tool so I can give you a quick demo of how it works. When you first start up Portfolio Tester, it looks like this. And the user interface is quite intuitive. It is done in steps. So the first step is you select the MetaTrader 4 root folder. Just as a side note, I'm demoing this tool for MetaTrader 4 but the MetaTrader 5 version looks identically to this and works identically. So for MetaTrader 4, you first choose the MT4 root folder, simply click on browse and pick the installation folder of MT4. So and if you have multiple installations of MT4, like in my case, you pick the one that you want to use to run these tests on. So I'll pick it, I click okay. As soon as I do this, the lower half of the portfolio tester populates. So I have selected my MT4 instance, and now I can select for which trading strategy I would like to run this back test on. I'm going to pick one of the built-in trading strategies in MT4, which everyone has access to. So MACD sample, for example. I can also choose the parameterization to be chosen for the strategy. In this case, I will use the default parameters. However, if you do not want to do this, you could pick one of the saved parameterizations of your MT4. I can then go on and select what is the start date and the end date of my test case. So in this case, let's start from perhaps the beginning of the year, January 2022 until today. I can select the test mode. If you use MT4, you know what that is. We have three different test modes. We have on tick, which basically is the most detailed back test mode, but it also takes the longest. We have control points, which is the compromise between uh, very detailed and not detailed at all. And we have open price only. So I'm going to choose control points just to make this demonstration a bit faster. I can also select where do I want to save my output files to. So I can select my output folder. I can select what is the name of my CSV file to which the results should be saved. I also have the option to copy over the individual HTML reports that MT4 generates after each test run to this output folder. This is useful if you want to have a look at them after the test is completed, perhaps for some further analysis. Next, what I can do is to select the symbols on which I would like to run the back test. I have all these main symbols pre-installed. If a symbol is missing and you'd like to test on an additional symbol, all you need to do is to go up here to settings. You go to manage symbols and here you can add additional symbols to portfolio tester along with the spread that should be used for that symbol. And let me just pick a couple of symbols. And the last thing I will choose are the timeframes on which I'd like to test or run this test on. So for example, on the M15, M30 or H1 timeframe. And all I need to do now is to simply click on run. 
Once I click run test, the strategy tester will run all these test cases for me. In this case, these are only 12 test cases because you only selected, I believe, four symbols in three different timeframes. So the first one was for AUD CAT on the M15 timeframe, which completed in 42 seconds. It had a loss of $522. You can see the profit factor here, the drawdown, and how many trades were taken. We're not going to wait now until all these 12 test cases are completed. Instead, let me switch over to a test which I had run earlier on today. It was performed on one of my EAs, which is called the Volatility Crusher EA version 2 in its default settings. And I tested it on all these different symbols and on three different time frames: on the M15, on the M30, and on the H1 time frame. And this test case or this portfolio test completed after 23 minutes and six seconds. Again, all of this was run completely automatically. And you see a little summary here of the test result. And the results have also been written to this CSV file. Now, there's one really cool thing for the portfolio tester. It integrates seamlessly with the portfolio architect. If you remember, Portfolio Architect was a tool or is a tool which allows you to analyze and optimize your trading portfolio. In order to export all these test runs into Portfolio Architect, all you need to do is to click on this item here, Export to Portfolio Architect. Once it's opened up, you see that all these different test runs are now imported into Portfolio Architect and you can now do your analysis. So for example, I could look at my equity evolution, my drawdown, my yearly returns, of course, in this case, it was only one year, my monthly returns and so forth. I can also look at seasonality patterns, which months throughout the year work the best, which weekday, for example, work the best. You can see a Wednesdays, for example, work by far the worst. How did my strategy perform throughout the day? This is a day trading strategy, which I used. And we can see here, for example, that, well, it seemed to work quite nicely during regular trading hours or at least between 8 and 7 p.m., but not so much overnight. And for you as a trader, this gives you invaluable insights because now you can optimize. You can, for example, simulate, well, what would happen if I only run this strategy between, let's say, 8 a.m. and 18 o'clock? All you need to do is to go to properties up here. You go to filters and you say, okay, I want to trade the strategy only between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Done. I click OK, and it will simulate the effect now of running the strategies only during these trading hours. We can see that our equity evolution is much, much better because we've now optimized the strategy and focused only on the trading hours, which were the most profitable ones. I would like to give the word now to Scott. So Scott not only is a master robot trader, he is also a power user of the MT4 portfolio tester and portfolio architect. So Scott, do you mind perhaps sharing your experience with these tools? Sure. My background, I got into oh, robot trading, automated trading in 2012, um, but I was on TradeStation at that time. And I was doing, I mean, I spent literally 2,500 hours, uh, five hours, five to six hours a day for a year and a half. You can do the math. So I did 2,500 hours trying to find an automated strategy. And I finally picked one. I traded it on TradeStation back when they traded Forex and things were going great. Um, I was making money. I made 100% in a year trading just an automated strategy and I, his life was wonderful. And then of course my world practically ended <laughs> for all intents and purposes. TradeStation stopped trading Forex and I knew a little bit of coding in TradeStation. I knew a little bit of easy language, but not enough, not for the strategies that I had built. And so what am I going to do is like my trading career ended. Am I going to go back to stocks? And so the first thing I want to say is, um, I found Daniel just by accident when I was speaking at this conference along, along with Daniel and, you know, Daniel, you've <laughs> saved my life. I don't know where I'd be without Daniel, everyone. So, um, he's an absolutely fantastic coder, uh, besides being a great person. And, uh, I don't know. I, he transferred all of my strategies into MT4. Uh, he allowed my life to continue. Um, so, per, so long way of saying thank you, Daniel, for everything that you do. I'm very, very thankful for you. Now, going back to my first strategy, um, which was called the Hornet, which Daniel has helped bring in also, um, you know, I spent 
well, more than that now, almost 3,000 hours afterwards. If I had portfolio tester and portfolio architect, but specifically tester, I mean, I could have divide that by 10, maybe, maybe 200. I mean, it would have saved me so much time because Daniel's exactly right. Because Okay. I've got a strategy. I want to create something. Well, is it going to be daily? Okay. So let's run a test on daily. Uh, well, I don't like that. Well, I'm going to try a different year. I'm going to try multiple years, blah, blah, blah. And I've spent now a week's gone by and I'm on the daily. Well, what about four hour? Same thing. Well, wait, but what about 15 minutes? Oh, well, I moved to 15 minute. Well, is there a time of day it works better? Well, how do you guess, how do you figure out which time of day your strategy trades? If you don't have Daniel's tools, you do what I did. And you say, you look through so many Excel spreadsheets. I mean, oh, I think 8 a.m. looks good. No, wait, 12 p.m. looks good. I mean, it just, it almost makes me cry thinking back about how hard it was and how much work you had to put in. And furthermore, there's one thing that Daniel didn't even mention, uh, which his tool is so helpful for. If you have to spend all this time doing it manually, right? First of all, you can't run a test overnight, but it's so important to be able to keep your mindset. When you go into testing, I always have an idea. Okay, I have a theme and, and I've planned this out, either written it down or planned it. Okay, I'm going to test this particular aspect. Well, if you're running it manually, it's so easy to get sidetracked. Oh, and then you have to go to the store or, oh, you have to run an errand or you have an appointment and you come back to your testing. And it's like, what was I testing? Like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Whereas because architect and because tester goes so fast, I can run multiple timeframes, multiple instruments, all in the theme that I was thinking of. And it's done in an hour if you're doing a big test or less if you're doing small tests. And then guess what? Then you can take your ideas. Okay, I was looking for this profit factor or drawdown. I come back, oh, now I run another test. So you can do a two-hour testing session and get from beginning to end through a whole theme of what you were thinking of. Whereas before, maybe you lose it. Maybe you never come back to it. Maybe you get confused. Maybe you, I mean, it's a nightmare, right? It's not easy for an individual person, a regular person to be able to go out there and make their own automated strategies. And I mean, when Daniel uh, uh, introduced me to all of his tools, it's like, <laughs> it's just like a roller coaster ride. It's so much fun for me to test. I, I feel like I'm a professional tester and this has made it not only obviously more useful and more helpful to make money, but it's made it a hundred times more fun.